So, uh... Oh! Oh! oh. Mm-hmm. Can't start an episode so. with so. <laughs> uh, uh, the Buffalo awkward. Bills. This is awkward. It is, it is awkward, isn't it? There are many things that have to happen. Um, Good job. For the nail in this one. <laughs> Those broadcasting classes really paid off. Time I drop in money. Paul, I fear that there are some names. You know, there are some names that aren't going to be on this defense. Yeah. That oh, led yeah. it to being a very good defense. There's a bunch. Um, There's a bunch. I mean, the, the possibility of not having Shaq Lawson next to Jordan Phillips. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people want to put Star's head on the block, sure. which is understandable. Sure. Um, I've made my peace with it. If he goes. <laughs> yeah, but I don't you think that Jordan Phillips and Star are, you know, tied together, right? So you're if you're gonna if you're gonna let Jordan Phillips walk, which Brandon Bean's already said that he's gonna let him test the free agency market, right? So if you're gonna let Jordan Phillips walk, why would you cut Star? One of those two are going. Well, that's what I mean, but not Bolt. I wouldn't say this is a Bolt scenario. No. Yeah, not that's at all. that's what I mean. That's this is not a Bolt scenario. You got to realize that the Buffalo Bills just got a D-line coach who isn't – someone's posted. I can't remember who it was. They posted he's in, he was in the same fraternity as Mario Addison. So Shaq might be – Oh, that's interesting. You get a D-line coach that, that was a coach with McDermott. What defensive ends are you really getting? Remember, we always talked about the yeah. book ends that they have. Yeah. You're going to get more Trent Murphys and less uh, Jerry Hughes in, in that defense. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, guys who are role players. And I think it's important to call out the difference, right? Trent Murphy is a role player. You're asking him to do a specific job. You're not asking him to go eat the quarterback. He's not going to get 10 sacks for no. him. No, that's not, that's not the deal there. I lost a bet thinking he was. I know. I know you did. I, you sure did lose that bet. <laughs> In glorious fashion, you lost that bet. So, from a defensive standpoint, right, so likely losing Jordan Phillips. I say likely because that's just how Moneyball works, right? Ooh, I don't what? know about that. Well, you don't think they're going to – ah, they're likely losing Jordan Phillips. Dude, they're not going to pay him. Dude, he's too valuable to your team. Mm, disagree. You got Harrison Phillips coming back. I. Uh, well, you just, don't know what state he's going to be in. No, sure. And I'm not saying that Harrison Phillips is the same player that Jordan Phillips is, but let's be real. Jordan Phillips was not this player last season. How about Wilson Phillips? Hold on. (laughs) Uh, Jordan Phillips is likely going to be getting a pretty decent money deal. He's got no allegiance to Buffalo. Let's be real clear. His allegiance is... To himself. Right. He's got no allegiance to Buffalo. You have to realize why he's in Buffalo, though, Paul. That's a big deal because we had touted the money ball guys. Yeah. You know, the money ball guys, Dennis, Hick, Dennis Hickey, Dennis Locke. Yep. I mean, I, if I have to mention these guys on another episode, I'm going to lose my mind. You guys got to look them up. They were both in Miami when Phillips was drafted. Right. Uh, and and I, I checked it out. Drake wasn't drafted the same draft as him. Oh, he wasn't? But he was a third rounder. Okay. Okay, so that notwithstanding. Jordan Phillips was a second round pick. Um, you know, over the past five or six drafts since he's been drafted, there have been like 20 defensive tackles that get that get drafted. And this past year was the first year that there was more than three taken in the first round. Mm-hmm. So that notwithstanding, they got value for him, but you saw how he fit in this defense very, very well. Yeah. And those two guys, Hickey and Locke, have such a big influence in that room, they may pay. I think that's where you and I are going to differ, right? Because – if they're true money ball guys, like right, if we're if we're sticking right on the crux of what money ball is, you got your value for him already. It's time to find the next one. You're you're on you're on to the next. That's it. Because you still have Harrison Phillips on a rookie. What are deal. you gonna do then? You're, you're gonna have star the in there, star in Harrison, that's it. It's possibly losing Shaq too. Yeah. Like, I don't understand it. You you're you're possibly losing Shaq and uh you still have Ed Oliver. I mean, you're gonna find other guys that were former first and second round picks they're out there we had a we had a clip one time where we were talking about money ball money ball is not communism when you no. have to start paying people that are good though they got <laughs> hey they got your money quarterback ball. you gotta pay your quarterback well, you, you gotta, i understand that you gotta pay your quarterback everyone has to pay their quarterback but in the meantime 
you have a guy at 6'6", 330 that you cannot move out of the middle. And, we, and, and it's shown this year that Star has been moved out of the middle. So if you look at – wait, wait, wait. Did you just – Yes. I didn't feel good about it either. This is that awkward silence that happens after something kind of strange happens at a family gathering and everybody just gets real quiet for a minute. Someone farted during the, the prayer. Mm -hmm. Your coffee spilled. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Rose. Rose, she overflowed it for you. Um, uh, <clears throat> well, listen, my my fandom, as you know, can only go so far. I, do I like Star? Yes. Do I think he's a productive player? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How are these two not tied together? Wait, do I like Star? What, you went out to dinner with him? Do I like Star? Do you watch his kids? Like, do I like Star? Yeah, I like Star. I like Is he productive? Sign. Is he good well, at his job? Well, you, I don't you know. know this. What, are you, what are you talking you, about? You know this This manifested because I called him coming to the Bills a year ahead of time. You did. That's why did. I kind of, I've latched myself onto his wagon. Can you, would you mind showing the people my profile picture on Facebook of Christopher Walken here? Because this is where you would insert the... Uh, I will die on that hill for that player thing. Because I absolutely had, had a picture of Christopher Walken as my profile picture saying, I got a fever and the only prescription is A.J. McCarron. Yes, you've had that forever. And I've had that for years. Yes. This isn't new. I had that. I made that like four years, five years ago. You made that when he was losing BSC championship games. <laughs> oh. I am slowly climbing down from that hill, though. Because yeah. I, I realize when the, when the battle is lost. Yeah, I get uh, it. If you want to get rid of Star now. But you know what? I always maintain this. Now if you want to get rid of Star and make him a post you well, first cut, yeah. it's different now. Hash brown? Absolutely. All right. I think I'll just eat a hash brown. Nom, nom. Yeah, I, that was always kind of the crux when we talked about the Star contract. Oh, yeah, the crux was... You get through you the first couple years. years. Yeah. yeah, you get through the first couple of years. And that's what you do when you change coaching staffs. You bring in a guy who speaks your language, sets your tone, right? And, exactly. we, and we can tell, obviously, for McDermott, the offensive, the defensive line is paramount. Paramount. Nothing is more important than that defensive no. line. The offensive line, too. I mean, yeah, it all starts up there. I mean, that's, that's the secret of this whole freaking game. All these guys want to pay these millions and millions of dollars to all these guys on the outside. And, and, and yeah, they do make the plays. However... If you don't have anybody else, you can't make those plays. Well, I want four studs as defensive linemen. You give me all number two corners, you give me four studs up front. You give me all number two corners, I'll beat you. Because I, I can put seven in coverage. What, you know what I mean? Why do you blitz? Your defensive line's not getting there. Oh, Jesus. So I just had a moment. This is going to turn into a road rage up show. <laughs> I do want to point out that spot track has Jordan Phillips' market value as $6 million a year. That's a joke. Do you repay him at six? Do you resign him for three years, $18 million? Yesterday. Yeah, I do. I pay him yesterday. That yeah. Way. Now that, and I know that, I know that I had mentioned, like, you don't pay the guy, but I think that's grossly underrating what his market value is. Well, how old is he? 28. 26, 28. Let me look. Because essentially what he's doing is. He, 27. He's played. For not a huge amount of money. No. So far. Yeah, he's he only drafted. Yeah, yeah he's he got off his rookie deal. He played one year with the Bills. He signed a one-year deal. Yeah. To try to see because the Bills wanted to see what he was made about too throughout a whole season and off season. Kind of similar to the same pathway that they did with Jack. They wanted to figure out okay, what is your what's your real true mindset? Let's not just give you money because we think you can do it. It wasn't that he wasn't do. motivated when we when he was on the field last season. He was motivated. He was just undisciplined. Yeah, then can we, those nine and a half sacks, can we, uh, can we alert the nation? Is that, that's why you don't just go purely off of statistics with some of these guys? The reason why I jumped off the Star Hill is because why isn't Star getting those sacks then? Or was he getting those sacks because Star's in there? <clears throat> you know, it's a huge, it's a huge thing. I mean, you got, you got to take a very, a very deep dive into it. To, to figure out, you know, the chicken and the egg scenario. But you, you got to have them on this team. You think that they already got the value for them. The I do. <coughs> I hate when that happens.
What? When uh, you're about to say something and then you sneeze and then your life flashes before your eyes while you try and remember uh, what uh, you were talking about. I thought you were just talking about my driving. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today, <laughs> Satan. <laughs> <laughs> so that's I love that by the way <laughs> that is the funniest now today ever. Satan <laughs> so um ah! you're right I did it while I do agree that you've already gotten your money for him six million dollars I think you could part with with like 90 plus million dollars in space because well you know we've highlighted this already on uh, the Sunday drive, the cap space. The Bills have an enormous amount of cap space. So the you could spend $6 million on Jordan Phillips and be totally fine. But I would not make a ton of it as a signing bonus, which he's going to want, right? Yeah. I would not make a ton of it guaranteed. Okay. Right? He earned his money this season. That's what he was doing. He was fighting to earn his money. As was, as was Shaq. Right, as was Shaq. Go ahead and pay him. But again, once you start getting into these big signing bonuses, sometimes that's where you lose players, Right. Because they worked yeah. their whole life to get paid. And now they get paid. And now and they, they get paid. They right, exactly. Off. I'm not saying that that's the character of guy. I'm just no, saying no, no. you always have to be careful with that. And Bean is very aware of that. Yeah. He is, like, hyper aware of that. Do you sign him three for 30, 18 guaranteed? Or do you think he'll take that? I wouldn't guarantee. So if we break up the money and guaranteed, I would go, I would guarantee six mil the first year, three mil the second year. So I guarantee the first year salary. And nine the third? No, 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 no. Oh. Six, six the first year, three the second year, and give six in a signing bonus. Okay. Because that, if that way, what you're looking at, right? That's fifty, right? Fifth, exactly. You're if half the contract, right. you know, a lot of those guys want to play for half the contract right. being guaranteed. Do I think we're going to get three more years of that production out of them? I don't really know, but by. Just guaranteeing, by giving him a decent amount of guaranteed money in the first year, it doesn't hurt you. You're not cutting him year one. So give him as much guaranteed money as you want. Guarantee the whole year, the first year. Who cares? You're not cutting him. You just signed him to a contract extension if you bring him back. Yeah. Do I think the Bills necessarily need him? I mean, do you want to spend $10 million a year? Well, in my opinion, his market value is like eight and a half. Do you want to spend eight and a half million dollars a year on a guy who's going to play 44% of your snaps? See, that's the huge part. He's a rotational guy. Right. But... Bean even said, they see what you pay guys. Who's he playing next to? Star. Star got 50. Well, <laughs> you don't sign Jordan Phillips for anything more than three. Why? Because you have Phillips, and that'll bleed into Allen and Edmonds. And Oliver. And Oliver, yes. Right, exactly. So do I think they could do it? Yeah. Do I think Spot Track's wrong at six a year? Yeah. I think, I think, he's, eight, I think yeah. he's an eight five. I an thought eight, Vegas five. was wrong with six wins. Congratulations for those who bet the over on that one. Not many situations can you bet the Bills over and win. Fact. That's a fact. <laughs>